Hey, it's Dr. Brad, and here are five big things in space and astronomy to look forward to in 2023. Now, first off, number one, we're going to talk about the OSIRIS-REx mission. This is a NASA-led mission that went to the asteroid Bennu. Now, Bennu is this loose pile of rubble-type asteroid, and a few years ago, it went down to the surface and used this vacuum cleaner-like suction cup hose to scoop up a bunch of rock. And in fact, it took so much sample, they couldn't close the lid for a while. Now, it's been making a return journey back to Earth and is now scheduled to return to the Utah desert in 2023. And scientists all around the world are eagerly awaiting its arrival to get their hands on the samples. And second are two missions that are going to be headed to other places in our solar system. We have the JUICE mission, or the Jupiter Icy World Explorer. This is going to head off in April to explore some of the large moons of Jupiter, like Ganymede and Europa. And what it's aimed to do is to study up close and personal these moons, making close flybys of them, and then eventually setting them around in orbit around Ganymede. Because Ganymede is quite interesting. It's actually the largest moon in our solar system, in fact, bigger than Mercury. And then later in the year, we have Psyche. Now, this is going to head to the asteroid Psyche. And this is a very weird asteroid. It's entirely metallic, uh, full of nickel and iron and other exotic things. We think it actually might be the core of the inside of a dwarf planet that broke apart. So Psyche is going to get up close and personal later this year with this asteroid. Now, thirdly, we saw a lot of activity around the moon in 2022, and that's only going to increase in 2023. We have multiple countries scheduled to have their missions go to the moon. India will launch their Chandrayaan-3 uh, mission. This will attempt to land successfully on the surface and deploy a rover. They tried this back in 2019, but had a few problems landing, so they're giving it another go. Russia scheduled in the middle of the year, around July, to launch their Luna 25 mission to also land on the surface. Japan's in on it as well, with the JAXA leading the uh, SLIM mission to do a very small satellite to get up close and personal with our celestial neighbor. Now, one of the other things to look forward to is humans in space via new private companies and new ways. Now, we are just talking about the moon, and in fact, if the Starship this is SpaceX's new big rocket and capsule to take humans further and deeper into space. They're looking at a mission to actually get into orbit and flying this year. And if it works, we'll see the Dear Moon mission. A Japanese billionaire paid for all of the seats essentially on the first flight of Starship around the moon. And he selected artists and creative types that fly around the moon and be inspired by what they see. Now, they won't land on the surface, but they'll do a trip around the moon, circumnavigating it, and then coming back to Earth. So if Starship works, we're going to see a batch of private people going around the moon this year. We also have Boeing. Boeing Starliner has been being tested to get astronauts into space. It is scheduled to take its first batch of humans also in 2023. Now, the fifth thing to look forward to this year are solar eclipses. 2022 is great year for lunar eclipses, but this is a great year for solar eclipses. And there's two great ones to look forward to in different parts of the world. In April, we're going to have a total and annular solar eclipse crossing over Australia, Indonesia, Southeast Asia, and Papua New Guinea. Now, a total solar eclipse is when the moon passes in between the Earth and the sun, completely blocking out the sun. An annual solar eclipse, or a ring of fire, gets a little bit of light around it. Both are spectacular to see. Now, if you're not in the exact spot to see it, like Exmouth, Western Australia, further away places will see a partial solar eclipse, but they'll still get some action nonetheless. Now, the Americas will get a different annular solar eclipse on the 14th of October. It will start in the western part of the U.S., near California, crossing through central U.S. into Mexico, Central America, and through northern South America like Brazil. And remember, do not look directly at the sun. Use a safety advice. You can look up what to use online. As a bonus thing to look forward to, it's hard to predict which big astronomy discoveries uh, and studies will come out. But we know there's going to be heaps coming out of the JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope. I hope you liked the list. Do you have any others that I missed? Make sure to listen in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with space.